1959 Cadillac Eldorado Brome, otherwise known as the Cad Mad. Is this the ultimate Cadillac Eldorado custom? Absolutely. This was the 2019 Riddler winner. This was a 20-year build. A couple million bucks was spent on this car to win the Riddler, and it did. Unfortunately, the guy that was paying the bills, the owner, he had passed away prior to the car making it over to Detroit, but it did earn the Riddler. Obviously, a full custom build, 500 or 632 cubic inches, 1,000 horsepower, and not really much left of an original part on it. No reserve, 385 is bid. Not get opportunities to buy Riddler. No Riddler winners come up. Uh, it's Riddler winner. Riddler winner, guys, you do not see that every day. You got $390,000. Who wants to be next? That was the point, that was the point Frank Nikon was making to uh, Trev Morbeck up on the auctioneer stand. Not often do you see a Riddler award-winning car on an auction block. No, not the Riddler award is like the Oscar for show cars. That's given at the Grand National Show out in California, and it's for the best of show of any car that is making its debut never seen before. Absolutely, the Autorama in Detroit, probably the most prestigious show in the collector car world, as Bill said, along with the GNRS out in Pomona. Between the Amber and the Riddler, it doesn't get better award-wise. Look at this, $390,000 at no reserve, a fraction of the build cost, but still strong money, and what an amazing piece that is. Absolutely, and I just want to say that the uh, pre-auction estimate in the Meekum Digital Catalog, available for anybody to see, go to Meekum.com and check it out. A low of 350000 and a high of 450000 So right smack dab in the middle of the estimate. So I think everybody's going to be happy with that. Indeed.